Yo everybody, Mobile Gamers Unite here. Today we're going to be talking about something important with Altamuller. I've been wanting to test this out for a while on him. We're going to go into his equipment. And we're going to be talking about the Red Ribbon, of course. Has Altamuller joined the Red Ribbon Army? Now, of course, Altamuller has good options for headpieces. He has a custom headpiece just for him. It lets him increase the duration of his buffs by one turn, which means that his um, his talent, this stacking of stats, um, Supreme Overlord, each one of his stacks will last for one more turn. So effectively, he can stay stacked longer. So that's pretty important, and I do believe his headpiece does give him hit points as well which is very similar to what the Red Ribbon does. Now I will say this. I had a chance to have 11% hit points on this thing and just like some defense and magic defense. Instead I took the 4% attack and the 6 attack, the flat value. In my opinion, the perfect roll on this would have been 4 or 5% attack, whatever flat value attack, and 10 or 15 percent hit points I would be so happy with this um, headpiece regardless my all is still over 6k and we're going to run this and we're just going to see how effective this is um, I should mention the whole point of this build the red ribbon and him running vampire bats is so we can finally give up the reinforcement ability Okay, because between that ribbon and the vampire bats, he should not need this reinforcement ability. He shouldn't have to rely on it. And it's only a one point skill, but that one point skill can be swapped out for Gale, which just makes him a whole different character, I think. If you can get enough healing to supplement him so that you can swap reinforcement out for Gale, I definitely think you should do it. I'm also going to play around and see how he runs with reinforcement and vampire bats and all this other stuff. Um, and here's here's the, the question that's left up for debate. Do you guys think I should keep this attack roll on this ribbon or should I go for more hit points? Because obviously a unit that can self-sustain himself and heal a bunch all the time really benefits from having a large hit point pool. Um, and I did go with Steel Runes on this guy to minimize the damage he takes because he already gets a natural damage reduction. I do like adding to that because Altamuller to me is a flying fortress. Uh, the more attacks he takes, the more of those stacks he gets, then his attack gets just as high as Leon's, if not higher sometimes. And he can fly around and just regenerate and just be a pain in the ass to kill with a super high attack that nobody wants Nobody wants to attack this guy head on. That's just the truth of it. So the question becomes, um, should I re-roll that headpiece, that ribbon, and try to get like 10-15% hit points on it, um, and hopefully whatever other percent attack I can get, because attack is still an S stat for Alton Mueller. But let's just see how he runs right now. Like I said, I could have had 10% more hit points on his um on him instead i opted out for four percent attack and uh and a flat value attack as well so let's see let's see what his attack is let's see where he starts at um it's also important to remember i have not bonded any of my heroes past like 80 something and I'm kind of glad that I waited, because now with all those materials, the character I'm going to bond out first, and I didn't want to do this at first, it's going to be Leon. For the simple fact that I got almost a perfect attack roll on his weapon. Um, so I think he can really go a long way with that. Uh, what do we got going here? Let's see. Let's put in Bernie. Let's just put in Bernie. Um, so we can get... Oh wait, that's right, Altamuller. You know, if Altamuller doesn't need to bring a fusion now, 
This is the other reason why I like that headpiece. Because now I can have a powerful attack, and I have Gale, and I can also have Dragon's Breath as an AoE. I haven't ran Dragon's Breath in a while, because I would bring the fusion power instead for him and Leon to use. But let's see how this goes, because this is the other um, build that I can run him with. Um, as long as he has that ribbon, because I think he should be self-sufficient enough with the heal off the ribbon. So let's see how he does. I'm going to check his hit points first. Let's see. My Leon here, he starts with almost 1100 attack before any buffs. He has 6.5k health. Alta Mueller almost has 7,000. So, I don't know. Let's see if that's going to be enough. This this might not be the best level to judge this. I might have to go run the time trial and get up into the, uh, the S class. So, let's see. Yeah, okay, so he's still... Well, he's not starting with a 1,000 attack. He has a 1,000 attack because he does have um, Alta Mueller's... Or not Alta Mueller, Bernie's fusion power on him. Um, defense and everything looks alright, but what's cool is he can do this again, and there's a chance he could even go again afterwards, just like that. So, I feel like that's pretty cool, because I'm not giving up Gale, I'm not giving up his AoE, and if I wanted to right here, I could have, um, used his single target damage ability, but I didn't. Um, what are we going to do here? How about we just clear all these fools out real quick? Joshua doesn't even need his fusion up. You guys can just chill. Let's get Alta Mueller down there. I want him to take some damage so that he can, um... Well, that wasn't much damage. Damn. <laughs> you know what? Now that I think about it, testing this out on on a map event probably was not the best idea. Everybody go ahead and run away. Everybody get up here. Oh, Gale couldn't kick in again. As much as I would love to wreck everything with Sakura, look at this movement on this girl. Look at her. She's at almost 1100 attack without any of her stacks. I think that's really what drew me to Sakura too, was the fact that she can stack up like Alta Mueller can. I absolutely love that. Because his attack just becomes ridiculous. And it's not like you can really hurt him because, well, his damage reduction goes up. And I already have him sporting steel on top of that. I'm not even going to use uh, Raging Thunder because that actually... Um, yeah, that gives him even more damage reduction, which I think it's important to bring. This stacks with his talent with the damage reduction, which stacks with steel. So he ends up having like a 35% damage reduction with... You know, with his stats already and his defensive stats and all his hit points, that's ridiculous. Especially when you stop to consider that this guy can auto-heal, not just with vampire bats, but with um, the headpiece that I put on him. And that's really what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to get the headpiece to, uh, to proc some of its damn healing. So hopefully something can do some damage to this guy. Jeez. Oh, here, here we go. Some magic damage. No, 40%. Or 40 damage, not 40%. Um, man. I'm going to have to pick another... Oh, another thing I did is I gave him Ragnarok instead of the other axe that he was using. I do fancy Ragnarok because it does fix damage first. You know what? Sakura's like, no, look at all this movement I got. I will be heard. God, I love Sakura. I love so I love my Empire team so much right now. Um, Alta Mueller's always been a favorite. 
but we have Sakura now too to go with him and my Bernie. Uh, of course, Bernie puts in work. Oh, something I'd like to address about Bernie, and guys, feel free to leave me comments about this. I have heard people say, you know what? I was going to work on Bernie and all, but I have Leaden, and Bernie's defense, Bernie can never tank as good as Leaden. Bernie can be more offensive than Leaden, so he has different ways to be built, I will say that, but... I think a lot of people underestimate Bernie because they look at his defense and his stats and they com they they compare that to Ledin and they shouldn't be comparing it flat value. Um, I think that um, Bernie gets overlooked and underplayed as a tank a lot. And let me show you guys why. Because, of course, if I look at this Bernie, who is a top-ranked Bernie, and he's fairly powerful. He's at 60, almost 6,500 power. If we look at this Bernie, um, his defense, all in all, he runs around with, like, almost 10K health. And he runs around with, like, eight or 900 defense, right? The thing is... Vargas has a higher defense than that a lot. Now, again, none of my characters are 100% bonded. I'm sure he'll run round out. But Bernie will never have as much defense as Ledin. And Ledin gets to turn part of his defense into his attack. So a lot of people are just going to say, no, Ledin's going to be able to out-tank him every single time. And um, interestingly enough, you know, he's going to have a higher attack too. So we should be able to out-damage Bernie as well. Here's the one thing that people overlook that I think um, Bernie really brings to the table that they completely forget about. And this affects his tank ability and his damage. First of all, Bernie has Lord's Will. Um, and comparing this to Leaden, Leaden um, gets to do his attack twice with his health a certain uh, percent. And it can be very powerful, especially with how high you can get Leaden's attack up. But here's what I will say about Bernie. When entering battle, damage increased by 20%. So he's going to do more damage there, which helps him uh, make up for only having like a thousand attack. Because that's all Bernie needs, right? Bernie's thousand attack will match Leiden's 13, 1400 attack. I know that sounds crazy, but hear me out. And this is why I think he can actually match that without having those same numbers. First of all, Lord's Will is going to increase his damage by 20%. Okay, but here's the best part. All enemies within two blocks have attack and defense decreased by 15%, baby. And this stacks with other things. So now, he doesn't need to have a defense as high as Leaden's. Leaden doesn't break everybody around him and lower their attack and their defense. So between Bernie doing 20% more damage and your enemy getting 15% less defense just off of his talent alone, that starts to catch him up to Leaden and the damage that Leaden can do with his 1400 attack as opposed to Bernie's 1000. But we're only halfway there yet. We're only halfway there, ladies and gentlemen, because Bernie also has this right here. Hedge of money. I call it hedge fund money, right? That's just me, though. Okay, when entering combat, which means whether you're attacking or you're being attacked, as long as you're getting into combat, dispels one enemy buff, which I even forgot about. That's very nice. But decreases the enemy's defense by 20 effing percent. So now tell me, does Bernie really need a 1400 attack when anybody that comes up to Bernie and attacks him gets minus 35% defense? Yeah, minus 35% defense and minus 15 attack. So if you think about that 35%, that's a huge percentage. And not only that, but this, uh, his Lord's Will, that 15% uh, decrease to attack and defense, that's to everybody two blocks around him. So effectively, 
Bernie's giving um, the rest of your team more damage because he's breaking all of the enemies around him. This isn't just the one person fighting him. This is a person two blocks away from him that might be attacking your Leon or somebody else. Um, the point I'm making here is people constantly, constantly forget that Bernie is one of the best damn breakers in the game. To give you an idea, and a lot of people don't see Bernie here because they don't get him to six star to actually evaluate him and look at him. So that's why I'm making this video. Talk about Altamuller and Bernie, two of my favorites. Don't overlook these guys. Uh, you know, Lord's Will alone is super useful in a dragon fight. All you have to do is park Bernie next to a dragon and start throwing us fusion power. Even if he can't reach the dragon, the dragon's going to get um, attack and defense decreased by 15%. And since this is its own talent, it stacks with other things. It's going to stack with all the breaks that you throw on that damn dragon. And then once Bernie actually gets to attack that dragon, the dragon's going to get minus 15 attack and minus 35% defense that's just absolutely effing amazing so in closing that's why bernie doesn't need to have a thousand defense and 1400 1500 attack like leaden and he can tank just as effectively as a matter of fact he can make some of your other um heroes more potent against the enemies that you're fighting because he is going to break everybody within two blocks around him. I think that is the biggest thing that's overlooked with Bernie. Alright. So, in this video, we pretty much just covered Altamuller and Bernie and how I feel about them. Some misconceptions about them. IMO. IMO, everybody. This is just, in my opinion. And my comment section is always open. If you guys want to add anything to this. If you guys you know, think I missed something or, you know... Um, and I know there's a lot of people that love their Leaden out there. Leaden's a great tank. I'm not trying to diss him at all. I'm just saying a lot of people just look at face value of numbers and they're going to say, I'm not going to work on Bernie when I could work on Leaden. He's just, his numbers are way higher. I'm just simply trying to explain to some people why Bernie's numbers don't need to be as high when you factor in all these breaks then my 1,000 attack Bernie might as well have 1,400 attack because you're going to have minus 35% to your defense, and I'm going to do 20% more damage. Um, you know, on top of that, Bernie has different builds. He can do some AoE stuff, um, and he can do that epic, epic fixed damage. His rupture ability just does so much. He can also tank, um, but really I've been running him offensive with with um, <clears throat> the Guardian boots that I just got for him. Uh, it's been going really great. Um, I did test this Bernie out as a full infantry troop with level 10 Red Guards with him. I took him to the level 65 Dragon, and I let him get charged by both of the Cavalry Bulldogs. And everybody else in my party was very surprised. They were like, dude, what level are those Guardian Infantry? I thought Bernie was going to die for sure. He tanked the shit out of two Cavalry Bulldog units back to back. And he survived with like 80% health. Um, yeah, that's about how it went. People could not believe that. They were like, dude, are you crazy? He's going to die right now. And I'm like, well, I'm testing him out. I was fairly confident he was going to survive. And people are like, wait, how is he doing that? My Leaden doesn't... My Leaden has higher stats than that. And, you know, he's tanking those same monsters. And it's relatively the same outcome. How is your Bernie doing that when his stats are lower than my Leaden's? And that's where I got to tell him. Your Leaden's not a breaker. Before those Bulldogs even get up to Bernie, they're, they got 15% less to their attack, and then by the time they actually attack Bernie, they have 15% less to their attack, 35% less to their defense, and Bernie gets 20% more to his damage, on top of any other buffs and fusion buffs and stuff that you got going on. Also, 
Uh, Bernie, in my opinion, in my opinion, has one of the stronger faction buffs in this game. It's giving you 20% more damage to a certain type of enemy as opposed to 15. So I also look at that too when you compare uh, Bernhardt's uh, fusion power to Leden's. Yeah, Leden's is a little more tank based oriented. Bernie's can do a lot more damage and Bernie can still be a hell of a tank and he can weaken everybody that you're fighting um, so that they just are less effective against your whole party, not just him. Which is something that I think that Bernie is unique for and is amazing for. So I'm going to cut it off here, guys. This is my uh, IMO on Bernie and Alt and what I've been doing with them and how I've been working with them. As a matter of fact, I might as well run a Guild War before this is all up. Our server's about to restart. Wiggy84. Wiggy, shout out to you. You're on YouTube, buddy. Say hello. Um, this is one of our newer guild members. He's doing great. He's working his way up through the ranks. Getting up to level 60 real quick. Let's see. Could I run Altimuller in this or anything? I don't know. Alright guys, everybody have a good night. These are just a few tidbits on Altimuller and... Well, what I'm doing with my Altimuller, maybe give you some ideas of stuff you could try if you have that gear. And just a few tidbits on Bernie and how I feel about Bernie, because I've just been hearing a lot of things about him. Oh, cool, I can try my new Leon out with his awesome new weapon. Very happy with that. Anyway, you guys have a good night. Peace.